Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. This is our new video series created on the topic of theme options development in WordPress from scratch. In the whole session video, we will see that how can we develop theme options to extend some functionality of our theme and in this video we are going to see some introduction part of what is theme panel and what is uses and how we key we extend the functionality of WordPress themes that we can make as a custom and also we will see some demo functions of that and uh, after this video session we will going to make such type of demo that we are going to see in this video session so so first of all we will take a definition of theme options so what is the basic definition of themes options panel theme options panel guys nothing it's an area it gives you some customizable code to add to your theme means you can say it's a small visit to your theme which somewhere extends the functionality by putting your code not going to code directly if you want to add some suppose some settings to your theme and if you don't want to code in your hard code is as in your php file so to save your time just you need to make some code in your function.php file and you have to just register some setting and uh, if you have registered any settings to your theme then you can see a uh, theme or panel is button as here that i have made for this video session so it's a small demo somewhere this theme panel button extends the some functionality of this theme activated theme suppose we want to see some custom settings to our means uh, wordpress pages so for making custom settings to our page we don't want to make hard coded on our page we want that we just take a means a uh, user interface where i can fill some values to that and those values will reflect to our my website that i am making so this is our website that we have made so far as our custom theme and this is our administrator panel so in this whole video session we are going to make a theme optional theme panel option here from which we are going to set some settings to our theme on which we can fill some values and after filling those values we will get and then we can see those values will be appear to our page so to understand those things better let's take an example i have made theme panel button here just click on that we can see these are the settings guys that we have made and also this demo small demo section we will see in this whole video session we're going to make some visit which takes some values from us and after filling those values save changes after taking those values it will show these values to our page so this is the custom setting we are going to make in this whole video session it's a small demo it's an idea to you to how can we you start to make a theme panel option to your custom theme so suppose i want to fill suppose name like online web tutor tutor url of my channel something actually unfortunately my net is not working for now so just copy and paste this is my twitter url twitter.com owt hub and this is the facebook url so just copy up this link and do paste it here and finally youtube channel link so this is my youtube channel just copy here and paste it there so these are the settings guys that i have made and i want to be appear to my front end at the footer section okay so just click on save changes so we have seen some success message here setting save that means our setting has successfully saved into the database and now we can access these values to our front end so just click on refresh so as you can see this is our channel settings and as the values has appeared now this is our channel name this is our youtube link this is facebook and this is twitter so these all settings guys we have registered from themes panel as you can see suppose i want to change suppose name like the solutions okay just click on save and once you refresh this page then you will see the saved value here okay guys so this is which 
this is the theme optional panel which we are going to see in this whole video session step by step we are going to make this widget which takes some parameters here and after saving these values it will just reflect to our front end so this is how easy you can understand to learn ok guys so back to a slide so I have written some code to bit understand so what is theme option theme option is a custom admin page which comes with some wordpress themes this is how we can make we can register to our custom theme as we click on appearances and going to theme so this is our custom theme as you can see guys activated theme is our custom theme and we want that when someone click on our custom theme then automatically after clicking on this theme theme panel button will be appear in administrator panel and after registering those values here click on save changes then these values will reflect to the front end section okay so these theme option is a custom admin page which comes with some wordpress theme it allows users to change theme settings without modifying theme files or touching any code so this is the second line guys as you can understand we need to make some changes or we want to add some url some settings to our page so here we didn't do any code to that we have just filled these boxes and click on save changes after clicking on this we have seen these changes to our front end okay theme option pages can be very simple with a handful option or it can have tons of customization options split into either tabs or multiple pages so third line actually guys says that theme options pages does not contain these little bit values as we can see it contains number of customization tools for you means number of tons of customizable things means if you want to change your suppose if you want to change the color of your header color of your footer text size font size many more settings if you want to your theme options then you can just set to to this area so step by step the functions that we use in this whole video session we are going to learn from scratch okay guys so this is the video session of introduction part of themes panel development and we have seen a small demo of that in this whole video session we are going to make some small demo and after guys i think after learning these small demo section you can make a wide range or major type of theme customizations for your custom theme so guys this is for our first video section and i have given introductory part of theme panel option so if you haven't subscribed to our channel guys then i strongly recommend to go to youtube find online web tutor and just click on subscribe button to get the latest videos update which i will make in this whole video session series okay guys i think i have made much clear concept about the introduction part of theme panel if you have any query about this video session then please do comment in comment box i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day